Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at First Look LA 2014, presented by the Los Angeles Venture Association here in LA. I have with me Matt Richter Sand of Invax. It's a private company. Matt, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks, Shelley. Thanks for having us on. It's good to have you. Let's get the story of Invax. Tell us. Sure. Arthur Young, the founder and president, spent three years of his life going through 13,000 nucleotide positions on the flu genome to identify the 28 truly invariant uh, regions of the virus. And those are the targets for our vaccine. We're creating the first universal flu vaccine. The first universal flu vaccine. Ladies and gentlemen, you think that's a big market? Why don't you tell us, how large a market is that? Uh, by 2023, studies have shown that over 1.5 billion candidates for a flu vaccine will, will be around the world in 2023. So this is no small opportunity for a company, whether yeah. you're small or large. What is the basis of the vaccine and how is it developed? Um, well, like I said, Arthur went through the flu genome and mapped the, the, all the regions and found the 28 invariant regions so that the, 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 the virus basically has two options. One, it can mutate and die if it does mutate, or two, if it doesn't mutate, it'll be targeted by our vaccine. So it's, uh, it's a really breakthrough. So let me ask you, peptide vaccine, I haven't heard much of that. Is this a new technology development? not only going after flu, but I'm sure you in development have other markets for this. Yeah, so uh, there are actually the first peptide vaccines going through the FDA approval process right now. And uh, so we're optimistic that uh, it's an exciting new area and we're optimistic about the FDA's collaboration with us because uh, we're solving such a major problem. Um, in addition to the consumer vaccines, though, the government also stockpiles uh, billions of dollars worth of vaccine. And so the U.S. government alone has stockpiled $1.3 billion uh, worth of Tamiflu, for example, which unfortunately a few weeks ago it was demonstrated that it's actually ineffective in averting a pandemic. Well, with all of Arthur's work in this area, has it yielded a platform as well? Yeah, that's what, what we're most excited about. Not only have we patented the 28 individual peptides, but we've also patented the methodology that we use to identify the 28 regions on the virus. So we can also apply this to other high value viruses such as HIV, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. So from the standpoint, I know everybody wants to know when this is gonna be ready for market. I'm not going to ask that question because <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost impossible for you to know. I think it's more important to know when or about you'll begin human trials. Um, well, we've accomplished the first of two major milestones in our preclinical work. The second milestone we hope to achieve in the next six months, and we need to conduct some toxicology studies after that, which are fairly straightforward, but it'll take about 12 months. So we're looking at about 18 months to begin human trials. What's your background? Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I uh, worked as uh, an investor in an early stage investment firm in Los Angeles, and uh, now I'm CEO of Finvax. Unlike me, I would have said it. I had the flu once, but we won't go there. So let me ask you, what is your website for people to find out more information about the company? It's Invax, which stands for Invariant Vaccine, by the way, INV-VAX.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Richter Sand, Invax. It's a private company. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the First Look LA 2014, presented here at the Los Angeles Venture Association in LA. Thanks, Matt, for coming on to SNN Live. Thanks for having me, Shelley. Good. My pleasure.